Hello. Um, I was given that uh, expired uh, uh, Agfa film, which is an Agfa, Agfa, Agfa color XRG 200, so 200 uh, Azar or ISO, uh, 36 uh, pose, one of 35 millimeter film, so Glaxo one. Um, made in Germany by uh, Agfa Gewert and uh, to be developed before uh, March 2007. So now we're in June 2020, so that's 13 years and a few months. Uh, and uh, might be interesting to uh, to shoot it. Um, and this this film, I don't know in which uh, condition it was preserved, whether it was um, warm, cold, or if there was any humidity. And I was given it and I really don't know what its life has been. So it will be a surprise you get good surprise you get bad surprise we will see and to shoot that i decided to to use a camera i haven't shot yet uh, and uh, which is a, a very special camera um, from east germany uh, rda or ddr Deutsche Demokratik republic but it is called the vera and uh, I thought it was uh, interesting to shoot a made in Germany film with a RDA uh, or DDR uh, 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 camera. And uh, this looks weird. You know, when you first get it, you say, how the hell that, that works? You've got one shutter button, but if you click, nothing happens. Uh, you can look here. I don't know if some... Uh, some info you don't really know. Uh, so you have to unscrew here, right? And when you unscrew here, you get your uh, lens coming in and you unscrew that, okay? And then uh, you have to think for a while, you see the controls here. So you can see, you can select, there's a little uh, uh, red uh, indication here, you get the aperture panel so if you turn here you can select the aperture so this is a 5.6 opening for example or 8 opening whatever and you see the second ring here is uh, the speed so you can turn that here which is not very handy so you have to to put that again in control and so if I go there turn again well I'm uh, 125th of a second opening 11 for example so this 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 couple here is then selected and you have the speed and and uh, the the aperture so this is how, how this works so now how do do you cock the shutter and this is where this is very strange you've got to turn that here and then you cocked right i never seen that on any other camera very strange right and not very handy because obviously when you turn that you can uh, change some of the parameters if you you have to be very careful and selecting the speed and the aperture is a bit of a nightmare too then the next ring is to 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 see the distance so you've got the, the distance here 1.5 1.7 uh, infinity here you know so you've you've got to to guess the distance uh, because there's no uh, measurement uh, whatsoever so I in that kind of camera I think I will prefer to shoot with a um, um, very closed aperture so I've got a, a lot of uh, depth of field something like 16 or even 22 if I can uh, under good light conditions and uh, outside because there's no flash so that, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, now, um, there is a selenium uh, uh, cell here. So meaning you've got uh, no batteries and like a lot of uh, 60s uh, cameras, the selenium was very trendy because you don't need batteries and it's, uh, I, I don't know if it's a bit radioactive or whatever. <laughs> I hope not, uh, just a bit, I guess, because it's, it still works. And inside, when you look inside, you've got a little uh, black uh, LCD indicator, which is very futuristic for the, for the time. And uh, the whole camera is, look is very futuristic. And um, 
I don't know how this works because when you look at the, you look at it, it gets black and 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 it's like an LCD, so it's not very precise. I'm not sure I can use it. Uh, I will try to see if I can do something with that, but I'm not convinced. So I might stick to F, to the F16 rule, something like that, putting it to 16 and and. Uh, uh, you know the rule. If you don't know the rule, just check on the internet. Uh, F16 rule, um, and and then um, you can see inside uh, on the back, on, on the side, on the side in in, in um, bottom right, you can see. I guess uh, through that little mirror here, you can check uh, what you selected as as a, a couple of. Um, of speed and aperture so you can when you shoot you can have a look and check what you've selected so that's 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 a good feature it, it's it's very mechanical but it's a little mirror that lets you have a look here so it's quite nice uh, now how do you put a film inside um, well I had to struggle and search for a while but you have to turn that here up to a click and then you can uh, open it right and uh, okay so the, the 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 pressing panel is here to press the the film on top of the opening that's quite normal but what's not so normal is that it's uh, it's also reversed so you see the film going there and being and being uh, uh, rolled here whereas on other cameras a lot of cameras you get the film here and it's been rolled here so it's been rolled reversed um so let's do that let's let's roll it inside and see if it's if it's handy or not i don't know we will try that so so far so good uh let me check how this works yeah i've got a, a little thing here i can i can put my film inside i guess mm -hmm. not so handy no uh, maybe on the other side, yes, maybe and do that side here. Uh, let me, I would like to cut that, I guess, of my struggling, or you, you'll keep it, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to be very polite in a while. I don't know, this is not very, very, very handy way of rolling things. Yes, I guess that's here. I think you got to roll it. Yes, you got to put it inside here, just a uh, just a bit, so that it goes here inside. Yes, right. Here it goes. So, well, once you're used to it, it's okay. You have to roll it a bit uh, on the other side, and then you you're able to enter it and. Uh, then you can uh, close. Uh, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not that easy to close. Now, oh, this is a bit of a hustle sometimes I would say oh, yes yes I could okay so now I'm, I'm set I uh, don't know what's that for maybe to set up the zero somewhere I don't know mm hmm I guess maybe you've got to position that so that it knows it's a uh, it's zeroed somewhere. Sometimes they do that. Yeah. There's a counter here, so that I know. I oh, I don't know if you can see. You can uh, put the little red. You can move it and put it to zero. Yes. I wonder if you see. So that it's your counter. You know your frame counter. And I guess when you when you over to you have got to press the button and to use the the little uh, thing just to get the film back, right? And here you are, ready to shoot. Let me see. Oof. 
Ja. It's a uh, heavy. I don't know what happened with that counter. Doesn't work very well. Hmm. I just have to count and see if I can shut. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's try. Okay, and um, this is also an, an interesting part because if you flip it over, yeah, you, you've got your sunshade. Right. Right, so you've got that weird looking sunshade. Uh, I don't know, it's, this looks really uh, like a futuristic kind of uh, things from uh, from uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, Star Trek or, or pff, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's the weirdest design I've ever seen on a camera, but I like it. So never shot it before I will try I've got that uh, uh, film inside and uh, let's go and shoot and uh, I'll share the results uh, when it's done and then uh, when I got the, the film developed so hope you like it um, I don't know if I'm doing in two parts maybe I'm just doing one part I will take the time to shoot the roll and put the the, the, the pictures right after thank you for watching